Hello, Maritime players, welcome to We Play Pokemon Flower Sky. I'm Lucky Red, welcoming you back into this episode, ladies and gentlemen. So, we have uh, been uh, having uh, some couple of great uh, episodes uh, lately, and today we're gonna be taking on uh, a gem, I possibly think. And uh, let's try to go into Route X and try to see what we can possibly do right here. I'm gonna be uh, repelling some uh, couple of few stuff. Uh, around around oh flip looks like we have a bell up in front um really not sure which side we should possibly head but first and first let me just check on um, my couple of uh, things we really have uh pretty much of a great amount of um uh oh okay seems like we're really gonna take on this bell well that was a very refreshing bell. We managed to really take it out and uh, oh flip. We really don't like it when Pokemon just bump into us just like that. We own Route Y and let's just pick up some couple of berries and find out what we could possibly do with them later on the stage. I really don't even use these things but I keep on picking them up which is really kinda crazy. I really gotta say but regardless other than that um, we are really going to be um, just continuing on let me try to use uh, that uh, uh, what do you call uh, max max repel and repel some pokemons uh, up uh, right here let's move up uh, and uh, we're gonna be taking on a double spell talk about teamwork uh, and with that we've really took on that uh, place so we have arrived into Hotasita um, city and that's really lovely I really gotta say let me heal my Pokemons up right now. Really don't know why do I even even say that because it's just uh, something that is really like floop floop. Whoa, what the heck is this house? Have you ever arrived into this house? I'm just exploring this kind of place, you know, checking it on. Who knows? Iris, the most of flying type Pokemon. She'll make you pay if you don't uh, watch yourself. Okay, seems like... Uh, yeah, Iris is gonna be the very, very much more disturbing gym I've ever went on. And with that, ladies and gentlemen, we're ready to take on the Hotasita City Gym, uh, Pokemon Gym. Iris, uh, let's take her on. Okay, wait, wait, wait. I really didn't, didn't say the code. Let's just say the code. A bird user taking flight into the world. Taking flight into the world, ladies and gentlemen, I really love traveling, but I really, really don't get the opportunity to travel a lot, which is uh, really crazy if you ask me. Yo, how is it going, Champion Bound Lucky? Hotasita Gym, Hotasita Gym Leader Iris is a master of flying type Pokemon. She's waiting at the back of the gym behind the rotating doors. She's waiting for a new challenger. Who are you? Who are trying to take on a wing? Okay, go for it. Okay, we're gonna be going for it, I guess. And uh, let's try to just kind of like, you know, swift through things up right about just like that. Let's see. Hmm, okay, that's really nice. Uh, let's go to throughout this side again and move on and do this side. Move on, okay. We really did that. Today we have a cameo member, and uh, I'm hoping that you see him uh, very soon as we continue on right here. Hmm. Let me see how we can do this thing. Okay, hey, repel just went off just like that. Okay, now this is not how it should be done. It really should be done at this side, I guess. Uh, so let us try to. Uh, wait. Okay, let's try to bell this guy. Iris, I'm the leader of the whole Sita Pokemon gem. And I have become one with the bird Pokemon. And I have sword of the skies. However, growling in the bell, we have trumped with grace. Witness the elegant uh, choreography of bird Pokemon and I. And with that, we are challenged by Pokemon gym leader Iris. 
and let's take Aris on. I mean, I've been watching some couple of few uh, episodes of um, um, Iris, which is a very cool lady, I really gotta say. I still remember where Ash <laughs> really thought Iris was a, was a Pokemon, and Iris was like chillaxing, you know, just like uh, behind um, the trees and stuff like that. And and Iris and Bo Ash really thought that Iris was a Pokemon. I was like, <laughs> it, it really giggled me a lot. <laughs> like, I was like, what the heck? I was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, uh, Iris was having a Pokemon, so the Pokedex really kind of wanted to sort of like say the Pokemon, but the Pokemon was not seen, and Iris was like the pebble thing. Yeah, I think it was um, the Adventures of Unova, things like that. Yeah, so. I really love that episode, ladies and gentlemen. It was, it was really, really fantastic. I really gotta say. And with that, we've took on the first uh, Pokemon. And right now, we have a Seraptor, which is uh, really up in front and really ready to go. And a uh, Black Summer. So let's see what we could possibly do. Now it's doing double team. And it's gonna be a very big hard. It's gonna be a bit hard for us to just kinda attack it because it's really making itself to be. You know, kind of invisible, I could possibly say. And uh, seems like that close comeback is really, really taking a bit of a damage throughout to us. And with that, we might as really hit that. And uh, we have putting it into the red zone. I think a hyper potion or super potion is going to be coming in. And here it is. Here it is, as we were speaking about it. And uh, let's try to use Spock again and possibly see what we could possibly do right here. At least we managed to take it into the pink zone. And if we can be able to land this hit right now, ladies and gentlemen. Come on, Zap. Hang in there, buddy. Yes, so we managed to do that. And uh, that Spock is going to be taking the Seraptor down, if I'm not mistaken. And with that, it's a crit. Okay, you, you're giving us crit even though we really don't need it. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, I see you. Next up is going to be a Palipa. I'm going to be just leaving our buddy Zap. Seems like Zap is really doing a very great, uh, kind of like, um, uh, flying through throughout to this thing. As I said, we have a guest Pokemon in our team, and that is Yellow, ladies and gentlemen. Yellow is also in our team, and if Zap really kind of like loses the ball on the card, he is uh, going to be backed up uh, by our body right here, which is Yellow. I haven't been using Yellow, and I feel like Yellow is really a great uh, team member, and he has learned some couple of uh, greater electric moves. So I'm really thinking, if you really want us uh, to put uh, um, Yellow on the team instead of Zap, put that in the comment section below. Are you team Zap or are you team Yellow? Uh, we really gotta decide on that one, and I feel like uh, yellow is a, a pretty much of a great um, sauce right now, but who knows? Oh no, it, it has fly. It has fly. Okay, what should we do? Hmm. Okay, let's just use ourselves to have a potion since it's, there's nothing that we could possibly do and just prepare for this fly because it's gonna really do a bit of a damage and uh, really, they really didn't do this much as I expected it to do but hey you know what can you say it's 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 really something that is really cool we wanted to take on spark and uh, that is on the right zone I guess but hyper potion should be coming up again slash is going to become whoa that was really close we we almost took, got talked took down ladies and gentlemen and we we managed to really take down that pokemon and uh, we are really down to the one pokemon and that is Breviary and Breviary. I'm really not uh, really sure about Breviary, but yeah, she is going to be taking us down in no stress regard. I'm really sure of that. Let's use Hyper Potion and try to be on a swing of things, you know, just uh, kind of refresh ourselves and see what this Pokemon does. Okay, so instead, it's going to be kind of like switching up, and it seems like there's nothing that we could possibly do. I don't know what Flash really does. <laughs> I really don't know what Flash really does, but uh, I really shouldn't have used Flash. Okay, so what? Okay, the accuracy fell. At least this Pokemon is going to be kind of like losing. Um, oh, flip. It's using double team, so it's going to be hard for us to really kind of, you know, uh, hit it. And with that, we managed to really take out that Spark. And yeah, okay, we, we left it into a very great um, uh, zone, I guess, and it has a berry. Of course. Oh, it has leftovers instead. Okay, let's try to see what we could possibly do. That close combat really hitting us 
with some big crits and the oh close comeback really does oh flip how can we miss how can we miss okay we missed that one let's try to use some hyper potion and uh, possibly see what we could possibly do because this seems like this breviary is going to be a very big uh, pain in the neck and let's see what we could possibly do right now close combat the game okay 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 i see you i see you oh leftovers really doing their job right there they're really doing their job okay let's try to use spark and see what we could possibly do right now oh no oh no come on hang in there buddy okay okay we on three hp that was almost that was almost we will win okay we win ladies and gentlemen that was really super cool really fantastic i really love that great job zap if you want the zap match ladies and gentlemen the link is on the down description below trust me it is a really coolest content you've ever get and uh yeah we've really won in recognition of your progress we've got 4600 for winning and uh oh Oh, I'll be late. The content master rank has was begun. You know, I'm very, I'm very like the Pokemon contest, and I spent many times to prepare for this time. I must hurry. Sorry. Hey, come on. Where is our batch lady? What the heck? Okay. That's really cool. I guess. Really cool. Kind of go up and really head into the healing spot and I'll meet you guys in the other side we at the Pokemon content center ladies and gentlemen and uh, seems like uh, she's around here I don't know but we really gotta go on and really check Iris out really wonder where Iris is Iris what the heck are you are you here Iris 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 where's my batch huh Where's me batch? Where's me batch, Iris? Where's me batch? I'm looking for Iris. Where the heck is she? Where the heck is she? How? This place really seems to be big, I guess. Uh, really not great. I don't know where to find Iris. Iris, where the heck are you? Okay, I think maybe she also, she's on this platform, maybe. Maybe. Oh, she, there she is. And the winner of the toughness contest uh, master rank is Iris from Hota Sita. See you in the next contest. Oh, lucky I won. Sorry again. I will give you this Pokemon the gym badge right now. And we have received ourselves a further badge, which is uh, the sixth badge on this region. We have... Uh, Think two more to go I don't know with the further batch all Pokemon up to level 70 even those received through the trades will obey your command you will also be able to use HM5 outside of the bell that's really great and this is a gift from me we obtained ourselves TM40 I think it's close combat if I'm not mistaken oh it's early ace okay okay I love that I love that we obtain ourselves early ace it's speed no Pokemon should be held in the void okay with that we've uh, registered the gym leader Iris uh, yeah that's really great the Pokemon content center is really impressive you should try it too now I have more rebounds um, than my friend uh, Caitlin okay do you know her she's so good at the contest too ha <laughs> ha see you later uh, okay Iris thank you so much for giving our badge thought you robbed us our freedom of becoming a Pokemon trainer and with that ladies and gentlemen we really did an insane amount of a lot for today and it was really fantastic I really gotta say if you really love the episode don't you don't forget to give it a big like and if you're new to the channel you know what you're gonna do you really gotta hit that red subscribe button to join the red team players right now hey you're lucky it's me just as I thought you won at the hall to see the gym your strength perhaps you really are the trainer that I have been we searching for remember we have uh, a fan in me i'll be cheering from the sidelines keep up the great work click 
And with that, yeah, seems like uh, Scott is really doing uh, his thing right there, cheering, cheering us on. And uh, let me see, there was this other building that I was really, I really wanted to head inside. And uh, I think this is the building. Let's just head right here and talk to this guy. And uh, yeah, oh, lucky long time no see. Haha, <laughs> have you met April, my old friend? I wonder where she went to, huh? What's that? A candy bar! Yes, we have given the candy bar, as you remember in the last episode, we got ourselves a candy bar. And, uh, he really kind of like, yeah, well, he finally found it. I can't believe I, I lost in our game, but next time I'm sure I will win. Haha, <laughs> thanks for bringing me this. Please take this. We obtained TM24, and what is that? I wonder what TM is that, and he's really not saying anything about that. Haha, <laughs> candy bar is so delicious. Okay, so he's just chilling and enjoying his candy bar. Let's check out our TM24. What is- WHOA! TM Thunderbolt! That's really great! That's really great, ladies and gentlemen. I really like that, I really like that. So, looks like our buddy Yellow has learned that move. And our buddy Zap has really not learned that move. So we're gonna be using that uh, in no stress regards. So ladies and gentlemen, as I really said, I want you to choose. Is it Team Zap or Team Yellow? Which Pokemon should I add into our team? Should we add Yellow or Zap? They are both electric types. And I feel like both of them have our their disadvantages and advantages. But I really am not sure which one to choose. I need you, ladies and gentlemen, to help me out. Uh, do we take yellow or zap as our team member thank you so much for watching ladies and gentlemen i'll catch you on the next episode as we continue this adventure on and on